welcome to what are you saying hashtag waste where we talk about topics and news as it affects us all i am sayomi sali hi diola hello it's monday how are you how was your weekend it was all right weekend was good <laughs> how did today go horrible monday traffic yeah, okay so um you know i think um there's a um, road closure at third Milland. So, of course... I thought this closure was supposed to happen over the weekend. I don't even know. I think... I, I don't even know. But, I mean, on the Monday in broad daylight, you're fixing patches on a cool bridge. And uh, the traffic was just horrendous. So. Well, this is actually... You just sit Because, then. I mean, the, the communique that was put out was yeah. that it was going to be shot Saturday and Sunday. Mm, I think that's for third mainland. For eco... I mean, it came as a surprise because we all just got on that bridge and discovered, oh, I mean, what's going on? Like, what's going on? So, I don't know. There's just something about, you know, productivity and how much being on the road just takes away from that, you know. But, um, I mean, the goal is, um, it's a new week ahead, ahead, you know. <laughs> All right, so today in partnership with Enough is Enough, we'll be discussing the impact of the hashtag NSARS movement. And of course, this movement had a significant impact on civic participation in Nigeria, particularly amongst the youth. Um, remember, I had talked about it on Friday that a lot more people came out to yeah. vote, you know, just because, you know, it was like almost like an offshoot of NSARS protests. Yeah. Also, it energized a new wave of political and social engagement, fostering a sense of responsibility and activism within um, the population. And in addition to the NSAS protests, um, other notable protests have been led by youth in the past. I mean, if you check the pictures, you'll see yeah. um, the June 12th one, you would see the fuel subsidy. And I mean, you would see a lot. You see the education protests, not too young to run protests. Mm. I think that was led by Dio Israel. Yeah. Anti corruption protests, the, the gender equality. Of course, bring back our girls, remove yeah. our remove, remove of um, subsidy. Yeah. A lot of protests have been held, yeah. True. And um, so let's um, talk about the impact mm -hmm. of this protest. Um, there has been um, increased youth engagement and participation, which was reflected, like you said, at the last um, general elections. Um, political participation and voting awareness. Um, there's been a lot of digital activism. Um, also, there has been demand for more accountability. Um, legacy of activism as well and so um, for me I mean what are the key points going forward you know what has this taught us um, I mean it has taught us that um, we must continue to foster civic participation and activism in Nigeria because it is crucial for promoting democratic governance social justice and sustainable development Absolutely, mm. absolutely, very important. So to know more of um, about your elected officials, remember that all you need to do is just send hello via WhatsApp to zero one seven hundred six three eight one. You get to know your governors, senators, House of Representative members, State House of Assembly members, local government chairman and councillor. It's important that you engage your new. Um, what's it called? Your new elected officials, right? That's your civic responsibility. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what to ask or questions to ask, I'm sure by the time you chat hello to the yeah. chatbots, they can also guide you on, you know, what to do and what not to do. Mm -hmm. All right. So today we're discussing diversity, right? Yeah, equity diversity, and, equity, and inclusion. And inclusion. Okay, even me, and I'm going to be learning today because I have no <laughs> clue what that means. And here's what we found of today's quote. It says, society is unity in diversity. This mm -hmm. is from George Herbert Mead. Now, some members of the All Progressive Congress, that's APC, under the banner of Progressive Change Ambassadors of Nigeria, that's PCAN, have accused President Bola Ahmed Tinubu of appointing mostly people from his home region mm. of the Southwest to top positions in his administration while ignoring competent individuals from other ethnic groups. Now, so today we'll be discussing that's DEI, that's Diversity, um, Equity 
and inclusion in governance and its influence on nation, nation building rather. Yeah. And we have with us our very own friend of the house, Bolahon Olojede. You are still watching Ways Now National TV Talk Show Host Day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's celebrated on October 23rd every year. It is a day to honor and appreciate the, talk, um, the TV talk show hosts who entertain us with their wit, humor, and insightful conversation. TV talk show hosts play um, an important role in our society. They provide us with a platform to learn about current events, hear from different perspectives, and be entertained. They also help to shape public opinions and promote social change. I didn't put in our pictures up there. <laughs> okay, happy international talk show host today. I didn't know we had a day. I didn't know she too. For bring cake now. <laughs> Producer, this is not enough. You should have brought us cakes and you know wine. Uh, all the work. God knows I need that wine. <laughs> Mame, it's, it's, it's really good because um it's we almost um not take cognizance of the tremendous impact talk shows. I'll say to someone know. that, you know, uh, when they do all these journalism awards and all of that, I said, see, when she said, oh, well, when do we, I said, we're not journalists. You yeah. need to know your place. True. We are talk show um, anchors, hosts, mm. whatever. And our place is our place. True. So we True. must learn our place. And truth be told, we are actually making a huge impact. True. We're not just, True. I mean, True. for the True. kinds of conversations we, we have yeah. here. Yeah. I mean, today something interesting happened. You know, we're planning the Leading Woman Show season yeah. two. Yeah. So um, the host sent me a screenshot of what somebody had sent to her, a young girl that was part of the live audience for season one. Oh. She's running for office today. Why? Because she said that that show completely changed her wow. trajectory about because wow. she never first of all saw herself as a leader she did not even see that she she didn't know she had a bias of women going in, into in leadership, leadership positions wow so i mean for me that was like the only thing that gave me good news today because i said wow it means that this impact is real so we just need to continue to drive those conversations yeah. continue to be intentional about what we absolutely, talk about absolutely and yeah absolutely. because we're shaping minds it's, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's called consciously the or, or no effect, consciously right? yeah we're shaping minds mm, we're shaping mm, mm, people's mm. perception we're shaping it so we need to just keep on you know pushing true very yeah. true very true all right so very what true. do you find first okay things? so this is um Lagos seals um a lab international trade fair markets and um well, it happened today. Um, the traders didn't know until they got to um, the, I mean, the markets. But um, the government um, did put out a statement um, on their social media platforms to say that um, the market was found to be in contravention of several key waste management guidelines, such as indiscriminate waste disposal, absence of designated waste points, lack of waste re receptacles for proper containment, as well as unsatisfactory state of drainage systems. Now, this is despite repeated notices urging compliance with, this, with these regulations. The market authorities failed to take corrective action, prompting the sailing today. Um, okay. <laughs> I so mean, we were supposed to talk about this last week. Yeah. So we are going to talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> okay, okay. Joy, we have to talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> I um, mean, for me, I'm all for public health. You know, um, people, all sorts of people coming to the market space. You see my corner, I'm looking at you. <laughs> Because but of course, the reason I'm giving you corner, mm -mm -mm. I, we are talking public health. Should we just shut, shut the entire link? <laughs> because we are all dirty. <laughs> Let's just be honest. And let's talk about it we'll tomorrow. Talk, tomorrow we'll talk about it. <laughs> All right, so Ogun State, in line with what you said, mm. they said they want to beautify Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Please, what's that? And they give uh, street traders quick notice. So Ogun State Governor Dapabiodun has handed down a 21-day ultimatum to all street traders operating on road setbacks along the Lagos Ibadan Expressway to vacate the road. Mm. So, concerns... Uh, it says, Punch learned concern, 
concerns those um, operating. No, Punch learned that it concerns those operating at Kara Market. Oh. It's Sherry and um, what's this one? Ware wa areas of the road. Mm. Yeah. So the move is um, was meant to restore the environmental sanity of the so road. So where, where uh, okay, so I want to ask, where are they going to relocate Kara Market? Because that's a huge market. Wait, wait now, maybe they see where they go now. <laughs> that's and I they moved them all these silly, 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 silly. back. Tomorrow we shall discuss it. So let me say that, first of all, Ogun State is one of the... It's really, really appalling, the state of the roads. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, for a governor, I would, I would really, really counsel that there are so many more pressing yeah, focus. issues because yeah. these guys are like you rightly said they are already far away from, from the, the main road. road because if at all anybody is supposed to touch them is the federal government yeah and federal government has given them uh, what's it called the room to operate on those because they just did that road and if i mean may we know they talk now so i don't understand our governor it's Milola's governor. We'll call her. Uh, <laughs> for my airport yeah. <laughs> we'll take a break now. Let's bring in our guest. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>